welcome, dear patron, to Sorceress Sundries. I am an unperson in service of the revered wizard Lerokin, proprietor of this fine establishment. To browse our wares, say, trade. To provide information about the Night Song, say, Night Song. If you are a city official here to collect dues, say taxes. For all other inquiries, say other. You are not Mr. Marvin Hudd, the collections officer assigned to this establishment. Detected. Commence amelioration. How else can I help you today? The provision of information that leads to the retrieval of the Night Song is worth a great deal to Master Laroican. Do you please proceed? Thank you. A magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the Night Song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. My God. The Night Song is a person. At last. There you are, my dear. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. Oh, my apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. I asked our mutual friend here to make an introduction that I might get to meet the famed daughter of Saluna. Forgive me for that impudence. Perhaps our friend can bridge the gap and do what I believe they came here to do? My steel-hearted friend speaks true. Give me one good reason, Magus, why I should not strike you down where you stand. <sighs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years! You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. A pity you didn't prove a more reliable ally. You could have reaped the rewards of my good favor. I'd hoped you to keep an open mind. But it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Master, let us show these amateurs the price they pay for challenging real wizards. I have great plans for you, Dame Aelin. And if you will not go quietly, then you'll go kicking and screaming. <laughs> Magicians and their plans for Dame Aelin. Predictable, sadistic, flaccid. Mamadons! Imperatum!
Roacan. You who would see me caged. You who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked mess, every vile murderer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken by its beauty! The Firehead Fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel... ...sadness. Why? A gripping in the chest. As though I'd lost someone. Something. Uh, Paladin's fatigue, no doubt. You were excellent in battle, as is your way. And I am proud to fight at your side. I will catch my breath, then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. I don't get it. What's got Dame Aelin so down? I, for one, am delighted Laroakan got what was coming to him. Don't mistake justice for something worse. Aelin has every right to be angry, furious even. <laughs> I'm glad to see her letting it out. She deserves that much. <laughs> She'll cheer up. Probably just tired, like she said. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious.
Thy wheel of fate turns ever to the dark. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhap... Then thou must return. This is the price of balance. Well counted. By doom and dusk I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Ah. Let's talk. Aelin left to face that wizard. Uh, Laroican, was it? Even after all she's been through, she thinks herself unstoppable, invincible. It all feels like recklessness to me. I hope you're right. He sounds like a vile, vile man. I'd have liked to get a few licks in myself, honestly. I wanted to help her, but she said she fights better when she knows I'm safe. I understand, I suppose. I feel the same about her. I'll rest a little easier if you do. You fought well against my father. I imagine a rat, like... I expected Nightsong to be overjoyed after killing her fair-haired fool. Instead, she just seemed... tired. <laughs> Hardly! It's going to be the greatest moment of my life! The blood, the screaming... <sighs> just thinking about it makes me smile. Dame Aelin has little to feel sorry about. The Roacan would have inflicted a far worse fate on her, given the chance. Leave Aelin to her sorrow. Likely the wizard only reminds her of all the other fools past and present, who have sought to use her. Ah, ally mine. We are reunited once more. I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Very impressive. Thank you for helping Aelin. That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. I always do, with darling Isabel by my side. Enjoy the spoils of your victory. Spin memories of Laroican's death in your mind like silk floss. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. They faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. Aelin and I will go to them. Provide what help we can. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Isabel and I will stand by your side. We wouldn't miss it. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon. And with our great powers combined, this city will be saved. Is something let's talk yes and I don't... I'm not about to make such a sacrifice not n thank you I wasn't expecting it 
But I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Welcome back, dear patron. Rem let your knowledge... Welcome back to Sorceress Sundays. How can I help you? To learn more about the search for the Night Song, say, Night Song. To learn more about Master Leroican, say, Leroican. To learn more about... To truly know Master Leroican is the work of a lifetime. Suffice it to say, he is a powerful, important man whose... He resides in Ramazith's tower. Anyone bearing information leading to the capture of the Night Song may gain an audience with him. explosion on your ass. They also make excellent low-cost bodyguards. 
and you can't be too careful the way things are going. It looks a little fragile to me. Nonsense. They're tougher than they look. <laughs> Plus, even if they lose a limb, they keep on going. Getting on with things is a virtue, you know. What would you like to know? It is said to be written by Lord Carsis himself, the Netherese Arcanist who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra. Failed and was banished for the attempt. Great magical knowledge lies within the... The annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the crone's true nature. Psst. I already told you. It is locked in our vault. And with good reason. <laughs> you said... as well mean cursed. What's wrong with some classic Elmminster? The night song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected.
to go still. have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. All right. Time to skulk about. Storage and sorting of scrollwork, parchment, and tomes. Your distance, darling. Let's crack it open. Can't give up now.
No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. With pleasure. How many die today? How many traps? How considerate. Easy. This place is hungry for blood. My, my. A vault like this must be hiding something valuable. Careful, I bite. Hungry for blood. Don't touch me. There are traps about. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Let's get going.
someone's left a trap out for us. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Traps. How considerate. Unlock hereby the path to the Carsus Vault. Can't afford to stay idle. Want to see this? Never a dull moment. why we need the ointment. Look, Mama, look! It's so, so pretty! Annals of Carsus. The preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Carsus himself, this book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus's original plans for the crown's construction, his designs for godhood.
gods have ascended through far stranger means. A circle drawn on a globe, a walk in a swamp, the destruction of a magical stone. Why not with a symbol of such innate authority? The book states that the crown and nether stones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carthus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three nether stones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. Do not mistake the crown itself for the actions of its wearer, or rather, those controlling its wearer at present. If we could restore its former glory, it would no longer be a mere leash and collar used to subjugate friend or foe. It would be something greater. Something divine. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. Then you're already wiser than me. That's a lesson I've only recently learned. I worshipped Mistra loyally for years, and in that time she granted me the barest sliver of the power I was ready to wield. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control. Ready to be claimed by Carthus's successor. can know what truly may be if we don't at least try. Potential is nothing in itself. Just a fleeting dream unless we drag it into the waking world. Please, at least think on it. Powerful as he was, Carthus lacks some advantages I can lay claim to. I know Mistra, intimately. And I carry a fragment of the weave itself within my body. Carthus achieved many things. Hmm. But he never managed that. A long road lies ahead before the crown comes into our possession. All I ask for now is that you do not dismiss this possibility out of hand. Please, at least think on it. I see. I suppose I am asking you to take a leap of faith. Even the most loyal of companions might struggle to land gracefully. I've spent so long feeling... inferior. Shut out from my destiny over such a simple act of youthful enthusiasm. Perhaps I got carried away with the thought this crown could give me back what Mistra took. Cure me. Even. Dangerous. That's hardly a unique quality when it comes to the purposes we pursued together. Regardless, you've made your point. I shall put thoughts of the crown aside for the time being. It gives me some courage to think that you see greatness in me. I hope I live up to your expectations. Whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. A devil wielding the might of Carsus, it would be the end of everything.
Elminster? Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm uh, just enjoying a lungful of bull dairy and <laughs> Yes, a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. I hear you've been browsing in the most esteemed of emporiums, sorcerous sundries. <laughs> uh, indulge my curiosity. What wonders did you discover there? I trusted he would be sensible enough to exercise caution in this matter and to seek the truth. By now, you are aware of the evil we are up against. Cassos, this pestilent crown, the very tool with which its eponymous creator unmade an empire and magic itself. Perhaps now you understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme, it was not without merit, nor demanded lightly. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mr. knows you defied her, Gail. Well, of course she knows. She's Mr. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. Mistress willing to speak to me again? Was this your doing, Elminster? She knows what I see in you, just as I know what she sees in you. I was not born an old man. I know all too well what it's like to have a goddess fill your heart with longing. Looking at you is like gazing into a mirror that shows centuries long past. The past is the past, Elminster, and the future is, well, still to be decided by me, not by Mistra. If there is another way, I trust you can find it. It is not in your nature or mine to stop looking, to accept the first answer to any dilemma. Do what you can. Put that mind to work. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. So all it took to get Mistra's attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. I think Elminster's last message was the one carrying the punishment. Having respectfully declined it, I think she's willing to negotiate. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. Hm. Very well. But it does not serve us to tarry when a summons from the heavens is waiting. So, Mistress requested a chat with Gale. Unusually polite for a god. I do hope it goes well. We've pissed off enough gods already. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we... I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging. It sounds awful. I couldn't help. 
help overhearing what Elminster said to Gale. Not every day a god asks for a chat. Hey, maybe I'm invited too. I can be the muscle. Oh, that pointy-headed old fart talks too much. But he has also moved mountains, walked between planes, and dragged himself back from death a dozen times. If he still believes in Gale, the boy should not be overly concerned what his lady love thinks. Goddess or no? As you wish. The mother of all magic, they say. Let us hope Mistra brings Gale good fortunes. Mistra wants to meet Gale. Impressive. The only thing a god's ever offered me is a cold shoulder. Poor Gale. I hope he knows that a goddess abandoning him needn't be the end. I know from experience. <laughs> 